Hi, I'm sure anyone with good eyesight can see what I'm doing right now. I am controlling my MacBook uh, hooked up to a second screen on my iPod Touch uh, using VNC. Now, for those of you who've seen the video of me doing this to every single computer at the Apple Store, uh, I'm basically going to teach you how to do that except on your home computer. So for instance, I could be in the living room, and if I had a document that I needed to view on my iPod Touch, I could just open it up there. Or say I wanted to start a download, but I wasn't at my house. I could just start it right now on my computer, and then when I get back, it'll probably be finished downloading. So today, I'm going to teach you how to set up a little VNC client on your iPod Touch, and set up a VNC server on your Mac. Now. For those of you who don't know what VNC is, and are getting a little confused now, uh, VNC, it's, I think it starts, stands for Virtual Network Something. I'm probably completely wrong at what it stands for. But basically what it does is it lets you control another computer. Well, it lets you control the computer running a VNC server on another computer using a VNC viewer. In this case, my Mac would be running a VNC server, and my iPod Touch would be using a VNC viewer to view the screens of my MacBook. Now, you could do this between two computers, but I'm going to teach you how to do it using an iPod Touch. So, first off, on your Mac or Windows, you need to download a VNC server. For Mac, you can use Vine VNC. Just search it in Google. I'll probably have a link to it in the description box as well. Uh, it's called Vine Server. Once you've downloaded it and whatnot, you can open it up. And it, I think the first time you open it, it'll ask you to put in a password or something. You don't have to have a password, but if you want it to be a secure whatnot, then you put a password. Okay? So once you've done, once you've uh, installed, downloaded, and installed the Vine Server on your Mac, then, on your iPod Touch, go to the App Store, or in iTunes for that matter, uh, go to App Store and download something called Mocha VNC Lite, L-I-T-E. And that is going to be the free VNC viewer that you can use. Now, the good thing about this is that since you have the App Store, you no longer need to jailbreak your phone if you want a VNC viewer. Uh, Although I'm not using Mocha VNC Lite, I'm using Teleport, which is a $24 app, and it's a lot more advanced, and I most definitely paid for it, of course. I definitely did that legally, even though there is an icon called Cracked Teleport on my desktop. That does not mean that I did not pay full price for it. Anyway, so... Uh, once you've downloaded your VNC viewer on here, I think there's actually a bunch on the App Store, but the only ones that I know are Mocha VNC Lite, Mocha VNC, and Teleport. So, uh, once you've downloaded all those and installed those, just open them up on both computers. And if you're using Mocha VNC Lite, it's probably not going to automatically detect your computer. So in that case, you're going to want to look at that right there under host names you're gonna to want to look at the first name on there in my case it's macbook ftw uh, dash two dot local then on your vnc client um, on your vnc viewer if you're using mocha vnc it'll pro it'll ask you for the name the address the path and the password for the name i'll just go test and for the address put in the thing that i told you to remember right there, which is MacBook FTW dash two dot local. And then I put in my whoops, then I put in my password, which I'm not gonna let you see. And then, after that, I can click Connect, and then Pretty Colors should appear. And now, there we go. I am now controlling my screen 
using the VNC viewer. Now, the cool thing about uh, teleport, I, I'm not sure if this is on Mocha VNC, I'm pretty sure it is, but if you want to move the screen around, you can zoom in with two fingers and then move around things like the window. I don't know, I think it's really cool. Uh, another thing that's unique to, what's it called? Unique to teleport is that you can enable this mode called trackpad mode and basically it presents you with a dark screen and then you can control the computer as if it were a trackpad. Well, you can control, you can use your iPod Touch or iPhone as if it were a trackpad. It's actually useful. Say I was using my amazing Wacom tablet, I could just have this on the bottom and then instead of having to take the keyboard, I could just move around like that and then use my pen to wake them and then whenever I would need to say type something in all I would have to do is click a little button on teleport and then it would work 100 percent so yeah um, looks like I lost connection probably because Verizon is screwed up but yeah so this has been how to VNC with your iPod Touch and your computer. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about that, about that, about this, you can email me at ponagetutorials at gmail.com or you can go on AIM. Yes, I have an AIM, although I'm rarely on. Maybe once or twice or four times a week. Uh, my AIM is Ponage Tutorials. My email is ponagetutorials at gmail.com. And you could also leave a message or a comment, but I might not answer those. So, yeah. Um, thanks a bunch. You're the best ever. <laughs>